And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to add cracks to a photo. It's just one way to do it, but I think it's the easiest way. You can see on the left we've got a photo that we start with and on the right there's going to be our end result. Let me copy the one on the left, the original, and move it to the right. So we are working on that and on the left we have it to compare it. Second step is to import something like this. Just type in photo cracks, something like this, and you should find something via a Google search. Use the scale tool. Make it at least as big as the photo that you want to apply it to. Move it a little bit around and change the blending mode to multiply. You may want to rotate it or something so you can further transform it. Let me just use rotate just to show this. Left click on it and I hold shift and I rotate it. I confirm via rotate and I reposition it. So this is the starting point. We've got our face photo and the crack photo. But we've got two problems. Number one is the color. So it recolors our photo. We don't want that. And number two is the background is also affected. Let's fix the first problem. We'll select our cracks layer and then we go to colors and use a threshold. And we can use the sliders to bring back and add cracks. I don't want to have too many. So let me go down here and I confirm we are okay. If you want to have them white, so right now they're black, you can invert these colors. So I invert my cracks layer. And then I have to change the blending mode to screen. So this also works. In my case, I want to stick to black. So I press Ctrl Z two times. I've got it set to multiply and not inverted. Now let's take care of the background. I'm still on my cracks layer. And now I create an outline with the paths tool. Just left click on it in the first step. I move around in the image with the space bar. And I zoom in and out, all in control. And then I use the mouse wheel. When you've arrived at the starting point, just hold control, it changes your cursor. And then you can left click on the starting point and disclose your shape. Second step is to create the curves. If you need them, just hover over your line and then left click drag. It's going to curve the line and it's going to give you these handles to adjust the angle. Whenever you misclick, just press control Z one time.
When you're happy with your outline, the next step is to right click, go to select and then from path, then right click on your cracks layer, add layer mask, make sure selection is selected and then confirm via add, go to select none. And this way our background isn't affected anymore by these cracks. One more piece of advice, you should have a good position from the start, because when I want to reposition it right now, you can see the cracks, they don't get repositioned. So if you want to reposition it afterwards, set it back to the original position, go to the top layer and then merge it. So our cracks with the layer mask and the face layer are now merged. And now you can move it around and the cracks, they stay in place. But this is basically it. This is the easiest method that I know to add these cracks to a photo in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.